Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your alt codes are not working properly on Windows 10. So if you're trying to use a character map and you have alternate codes, so different random letters and different symbols that maybe you want to use for your different characters, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve without too much of a hassle here. And we're going to go jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just off the one start button one time. Select the settings icon on the left side, which appears as a gear icon, and go ahead and left click on that. Select the ease of access tile. On the left side, scroll down until you find mouse underneath interaction. If the option to control your mouse with a keypad is turned on, you want to make sure that only use mouse keys when numlock is on is currently enabled so make sure that's turned on so make sure you turn this on as well as only use the mouse keys when numlock is on. Another thing you can try if you close it here open up the start menu type in reg edit so r-e-g-e-d-i-t best match should come back a registry editor you want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator if you receive the user account control prompt you want to go ahead and left click on yes now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything ever went wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just want to go ahead and left click on the file tab and then select export. For name, usually I would name it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range should be selected to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And then just select the save option. And now that you've done that, if you ever need to import it back in, just left click on file and then import. So pretty straightforward. So once you've done that, now you're ready to expand the HK current user folder. So either double click on it or left one little arrow next to it. Do the same thing now for the control panel folder. Same thing for input methods. So double click on that. Now on the right panel in a blank area, just right click, select new, and then select string value. Now you want to name this string enable hex numpad exactly as it appears on my screen. So again, enable hex numpad e n a b l e h e x n u m t a d. Hit enter on your keyboard. Once you've done that, you want to double click on it. Value data, type the number one. Don't spell out one, just type the numerical number one. Select OK. Now that you've done that, just close out of here. Restart your computer, and hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.